Yo, what's poppin', my people? It's your big homie, Crooks are Great, aka CTG, and I'm back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 5 video. And in today's video, we're gonna be balling out with four star fighters here in uh, UFC 5. Now, I wanted to make this video because it's been a while since I've used four star fighters. I really, really think it has. I had the Nick Diaz video going up against Green Alex, fight. but, you know, that kind of is what it is. But here, we're gonna be using Bobby Green. We're going up against. Armin Surukyan. Take our time. He's jabbing a lot. Nope. The outside. Trade it. Nice head kick. Nope. Alright, we see what he's trying to do now. Okay. He's trying to pop the jab off as a build to that uh that rear high kick there okay. i think it's with bobby green bobby green has the reach right there oh got you a combo that Bobby Green couldn't actually throw even with his boxing combos. Nope. Okay. A head kick bled right through my arm. Great. Yeah. All right, we're just taking our time. Even though we did get stunned, we fought our way back into the ground. This round, pretty good. Yeah. Hit it. Now the threat of the the head kick coming out is I'm not gonna lie we have to be aware of that so we got to keep our combinations short and sweet. Got him. Oh, step three. There. Okay. Try to kick that. All right, solid first round. Now the key to winning this fight is gonna be understanding the movement because as you guys can see most of the time when i'm throwing off combinations he's trying to step back he's trying to take a step back so that way it gives him that room to throw uh to throw that head kick off so we have to be able to close that distance with a straight strike Feinting the takedowns going with that there Ours did the same exact thing. He got caught with the same exact thing he did to us. Right, we don't want to be on the ground with Sarukian. Ground and pound of Bobby Green is not going to get out of there, I feel like. Here. Body. I thought about going up to the head, but I just really Got him. Ooh, that was a nasty pull. That was a nasty pull. I didn't throw the right strike, though. Nice 
Three times still. That's it. He's searching for that too. Broke through the block because he ducked straight into a. Ooh. He ducked straight into a, a, a body uppercut. Right there. It's clean work. That's how you want to do it with Bobby Green, though. I mean, it, it kind of didn't work out for him that he picked Armin. But if you're, you're going to use Armin against Bobby Green, you have to grapple. You have to grapple. You can't, you can't just be sitting there trying to go tap, tip for tap with the boxing. Of Bobby Green in UFC 5, man. It's too nasty. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the second fight that I got for y'all here on the video, though. All right, and here we are, my people. We are in the second fight of the video. We're going to be using Uriah Hall. This time, we're going to be taking on the dude I don't think I've ever fought before. Here, he's using Sean Strickland. Now, Sean Strickland, he could be a very, very tricky fighter to fight in this game, depending on how you use him. But Uriah Hall is really good as well. I believe he has a 93 punch power with a 93 punch speed. And his kicks are really, really good. Try to utilize those. Got him right there. Right there. Oh, just missed on the body kick. Nice straight. Kind of need to be careful in this matchup that we don't get into like a slug fest with John Strickland, which is a very, very easy thing to do uh, in UFC 5. But he's built for it, man. He can take a lot of abuse in this game. He doesn't have the best punch power, but it still cause a lot of damage quickly. Taking our time, get the body kick. Again, no thought of team kick. Okay. Okay. Same combo twice. Okay. Now, Uriah Hall, for those of you guys that don't know about Uriah Hall, Uriah Hall was was a really, really good uh, counter striker. And this dude, if you want to talk about explosive as a fighter, he's probably, if not the most explosive fighter I've ever seen in, uh, in my time of watching MMA, he's close to it. Because this dude, I mean, his spinning heel kick knockout in the Ultimate Fighter, uh, I believe it was the Ultimate Fighter Jones versus Sonnen. It was, uh, I think, I forgot what the guy's name was. It was Adam something. But that spinning heel kick KO that he landed, man, was a thing of beauty, and it was scary as hell. I remember when they thought, they thought him coming out uh, of the Ultimate Fighter season, he was going to be absolutely crazy. But it just never really quite translated to, um, to wins, to him being able to put wins together when he was uh, afforded a UFC contract, but he always had super fun fights. I believe he is who, um, he's who uh, Chris Weidman broke his leg on, if I remember correctly. Because he ended the first round. But overall, he was, a, he was a crazy, crazy good fighter, man. It was really interesting to see his development Unfortunately, he's not in the UFC anymore, but he's still in the UFC games, and he's a very viable pick as a four-star, too, if you know how to use him correctly. Okay. Like that. There. Taking our time, not rushing anything. Nice. Trying nice. to utilize them kicks. Okay. Ooh, nice up though. Hmm. Got him. Put knee up there. Go the body. Body kick. Straight. Body kick. 
We're trying to we're trying to create that mixer that I tell you guys about all the time. That high low mixer. Body kick it. Ooh. Nice body kick right there by him though. That's right. Really nice. Head kick out there. And see how quick his lead head kick is? Not really any wind up. That. Ooh. Got a range right there with the elbow. Don't be aware of that. Got him. Ooh. I was going to go down to the body with some punches, but that's Sean Strickland right there. We're having a lot of success on this guy, though. Got him. Ooh. This is with a body kick. Faint. Oh, right Bang! Got him with the head kick. Do it again. Bang! Deep kick it. Woo! Just working the body, man. So I'll be telling y'all, don't go away until they block it. This is almost GG's for him. Trying to block that body. Not enough, though. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Them body kicks got the job done with your right hall. I told y'all. He could be a really, really good pick depending on how you play him. He could be really, really nasty. And those kicks do massive amounts of damage, man. And they're quick. They're hard to read. You never know where it's going to go. So if you can create that mix up, you're going to be able to get your opponents out of there pretty, pretty quickly if they're not paying attention. But that's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. And I am going to be making this uh, these kind of videos into a series. So make sure you guys drop fighters that you guys want to see me use in the comment section of the video. But until next time, take it easy, be safe, enjoy the rest of your, enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys later on. Though.